Those gunshots are just a few of the sounds from a long war that took place last year in Afghanistan. Mahdi Tahiri made the difficult decision to cross out of Afghanistan after the Taliban took over the country in 2021. He made the trip to the United States first and then came to Canada in April of 2022. He is now married to his wife Janelle and lives with her in British Columbia. Mahdi came as a refugee after he secured the last flight out of his city of Herat that was on its way to Kabul. That's when he ran into trouble. And I see the visa now in my passport, actual visa, but with a stamp on it, biggest stamp, black, say cancelled without prejudice. Mahdi was forced to fly back to Herat, and then as the Taliban closed in on the area, he made his way back to Kabul. After staying in the city for a while, the Taliban roamed close to where he was living. Both cities eventually fell to the group. We don't know what to do. The Kabul is fall down and we are living in the apartment complex. Yeah, we are seeing the Taliban just driving around our house on the street, their flag, and we like, what are we going to do? The Canadian government has brought 10,000 refugees into our country, and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says Ottawa is well on its way to getting that number up to 40,000. But the difficulty so far has been processing people from Afghanistan. As might be imagined, uh, the Taliban are not exactly being helpful in terms of uh, bringing people out of Afghanistan to Canada. We continue to work with partners uh, in the region and with allies around the world. Mahdi is hoping to open an engine repair shop once his paperwork and work visa come in and Janelle is trying to get work with the BC Ambulance Service as a paramedic. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.